What's going on guys and welcome back to a new video and you're all going to be in for a treat with today's video. Um, today I'm going to be interviewing Lifestyle Design member Daniel Labitas and he's currently at $24,000 a month with his agency and uh, basically we just you know dive right into the deep end. We go and cover everything from mindset to discipline to how he got started, how he picked his niche um, you know, his sort of methodology around agency life and so on and so forth. So sit back, relax, take notes. And for those of you that um, want to know more about Lifestyle Design Mastery or any of our coaching programs, everything will be linked in the description box down below. You can schedule a call with either me or, you know, someone on the Brampaneer team to see if Lifestyle Design is a right fit for you. But like I said, put your feet up, take notes, and I'll see you all at the end of the video. All right, guys, welcome. Thank you for watching. And uh, Daniel, thank you for hopping on. Um, so for those that don't know who you are, what you do, etc., do you mind just uh, telling a bit about yourself, you know, about your agency, what your agency does, uh, your clients, the revenue, and just all that good stuff? Yeah, sure. So my name is Daniel. I'm 22. Um, I started my photo agency in January, um, which so far has been going really, really well. Um, I basically focus on building high convert funnels for high ticket coaches that basically want to prove that a better client acquisition system in place in order to get, you know, more booked calls, in order to kind of create a magnitude of a bunch of other funnels around that one core funnel to drive more traffic sources to it. So, you know, whether they're focused on organic or paid, it will always work out for them regardless of what met they use. Um, so yeah, in January, basically, I started a uh, like funnel agency, you know, I dropped off my advertising agency because that wasn't really working for me as regards to the way my passion was not there, you know, as it was in funnel building. Um, yeah, so I basically joined in January and kind of, you know, kind of, and this space basically learned in January. Um, and then in February, I basically got my first few high ticket sales. And then, then in March, I was actually able to break $24,000 in sales. And it's been crazy. It, it's been an emotional, an emotional roller coaster to say. Um, and even, you know, right now, I'm still kind of flabbergasted at how good everything's been going and, and how good things will be going with all the plans I have in place. You know, I've got about eight to nine clients, you know, even, you know, from these past two months. Um, but really at the very start, I was charged about, you know, $500 to $1,000 to $1,500. I was like, what am I doing? You know, because these high ticket coaches, they, they sell their programs for, you know, 5K, 6K, 7K. So if I build them a funnel for 1500 that will get them a bunch of sales for everyone on that funnel, you know, I'm really just decreasing my value. When I can increase my value and charge them more, and you know, be priced at a reputable, you know, number. Um, so right now, yeah, it's I you know double that price and I have different type of price structures right now to kind of get me to my goals and my dreams. So yeah, it's been going fantastically well. Yeah, yeah, that's sick, man. What a story. And for those of you that are you know are now watching, like at the time of recording this, it's the start of April. So in the space of like two, three months, you've literally gone from zero to a hundred. Like it's crazy to see yeah, how yeah, quickly that's developed uh, yeah, yeah man. you just gotta keep learning that and keep grinding the graft and you know you gotta find your passion and if you don't you're gonna rot the hole you know what I'm saying it's, it's gonna be very very hard you know like especially you know I'm sure Josh when he started off he, he loved the space he learned the space and, and now look at me he's, he's trying he's helping so many students he's helping you know people that are just watching his YouTube videos Facebook likes Facebook group there's value everywhere um, and you know he has that true passion for it you know but when I was doing it, the advertising, it was, it was not my passion. It was just a get rich quick scheme, which I thought would work out like that. Like, I know many, even these viewers, if you're watching this right now, and you know, is, is, if this is your passion and you want to get rich quick, it's not going to work for you, unfortunately. You know, you're going to have to put that work in every single day. And because you literally have to become that business owner, you have to become an agency owner. And without you doing the hard lifting up front and understanding that it takes a lot of work before you can see a penny in your account, you know, you, you got to just keep consistent and keep learning and doing it. Yeah, 100%, man. I could not have said that better myself. And um, so let's just let's just rewind back to the advertising agency stuff because you joined the program in, what was it, July? Something July, like that. Yeah. yeah, and then, you know, obviously you started off with offering Facebook ads at a, yeah. you know, as a service. How, yeah, did, yeah. how did that go? Yeah, so, 
Yeah, yeah. So basically, when I joined in July 2020, you know, I was like an average human. I was like basically working nine to five in the hotel, absolutely hated it. You know, I always had the dreams and aspirations, but never put my head to my own business and to learn and to invest. Um, you know, back then I thought, you know, fifteen hundred dollars, thousand dollars was a lot of money. You know, but really, if you're investing in yourself, what you learn from, you know, for instance, if you join up with Joshua, what you learn from him will put you miles apart from many other people that are just starting off. Because really, you need to look for a mentor, and if you don't look for a mentor, it's going to be very, very hard for you just to learn off YouTube videos, because YouTube videos are basically designed to not give you the full effect of what you would learn on with someone one to one. You know. Well, again, it does provide the immense value to get you to go and, and get you, you know, get you, you know, get the momentum going, get the right structures going, you know. Once you join the program, then you can easily quickly scale, you know. Um, but yeah, when I joined in July 2020, it was, it was mad because, you know, the next day after joining, I was able to get my very first client, uh, which is, is absolutely mad. You know, I was I was literally just watching the training modules. Um, you know, the hybrid outreach method he teaches is absolutely insane. You know. <laughs> Literally, I joined the next. I joined this very next day after joining. Was able to get my, you know, first booked call and first client. You know, so basically, a hundred percent of that closing ratio. You know? <laughs> um, but yeah, it's been, it's been absolutely incredible roads where I've gotten now. You know, I've had so many hiccups along the way. Um, you know, trying to scale or, or you know trying different methods. You know, like for instance, my I was going after the roofing niche after jumping around different niches to find what suited me best, and the roofers, you know, didn't congregate. Where I would like them to congregate and yeah. see the, type, uh, the methods I was used to, but you have to understand this. You know, one method will not suit all needs. One method will not suit all niches. Um, in fact, you know, Joshua's method basically suits 90 percent of all the niches out there. Um, just the one that fell on my lap it did not suit because you know people did not respond to me, etc. Uh, and I basically hired directly to go agency to do my fulfillment, which went terrible. And you know, it just gave me so much stress. You know, even my girlfriend and I were just trying to think of what to say back, what to say back to all these angry clients. You know, because they were raging. And mostly because you know, we were selling you know two k per month, like three six month contracts. And you know, these people were raging because the results were not there, and it just gave me so much stress. And you know, I was getting threatened that oh, they're gonna come to my house, take my money, and everything. because they don't even know where they live, but somehow they know me and my brother and the connections. Yeah. Which makes sense, but you know, even at just saying that it would just scare the client, it did not work for me. And plus, I did not really have a passion for Facebook ads, so I did not learn it as much as I should have. Yeah, and again, your actions speak to your passion, you know, your passion speaks to action, whatever you want to say. Um, but yeah, and then I dropped that in December because I really did not want to focus on that. That's when the contract ended, that's where you know the relationship with the fulfillment agency went, and you know, all this kind of stuff, and clients weren't happy, you know. I wasted a bunch of months of these clients trying to figure things out. If I knew clients, but why would I hire more clients if this reputable agency ain't doing the work? Yeah. Um, you're basically just wasting the feedback bad results and bad name. You don't want to ruin your name because everyone knows your name then um, and how bad you are and what you've done. So really just focusing on you know your passion and finding out what's been working for you. Because literally what I didn't mention is I was working with um, another funnel agency for 100 euros per week. And you know that was terrible you know the experience was amazing but getting 100 euros per week was not efficient whatsoever but this got you know that experience you know working with clients being able to design things learn my craft skills got me to where i am right now where everything i learned then i can you know i didn't know what the fun is i had no idea i'm going to do this yeah but when i because i had that detail of what i learned and all the experience i was able to drastically and quickly implement it into the business i'm running now yeah that's sick man like that's that rant slash story that had so many golden nuggets in it. And I don't think you've realized like, how much value you've just provided. Everything from not knowing like how to do the, or not knowing who to outsource the fulfillment to, because that's one thing that I see a lot of people doing nowadays, right? Everyone has got this whole like vision of, oh, you're not allowed to work in the business. You need to be working on the business. <laughs> Therefore, we need to outsource all this like Facebook ad stuff, you know, for as cheap as possible, just to get it over with. Um, and then, yeah, you know, there's so many people out there that are offering Facebook ads as a service, you know, media buying as a service, but they just don't know how to do it properly. And if you, as an agency owner, don't really have the basic knowledge, you don't know if the media buyers are doing a good job either. So you're outsourcing yeah, yeah. it, but you don't know if, if that person's doing a good, good job or bad. 
And another thing you said there, which I thought was really interesting is within the first day you got your first clients, but yeah. it wasn't until January that you sort of, you know, had that click, you found the niche and from there it just skyrocketed. And what I think, you know, everyone who's watching this now really should take home is it's not actually hard to get clients. It's not actually hard to get meetings booked, but what you need to actively be searching for is what niche are you passionate about? What niche fits your agency best? And it's basically that equation, right? Like niche times offer equals results. Uh, you need to find what, you know, your service that you are offering, you need to find the right niche for that and be able to help that, you know, that niche out. So when, so obviously you had your first clients after 24 hours, but what was, when, when did you get your very first real um, funnel building client? Funnel building client. Okay, for the real. Um, so, like I said, yeah, so in January I started off when basically got to zero, you know, I was learning the funnel industry exactly to my nature, what I wanted to do. I was bouncing off whether I want to work with agencies, whether I want to work with coaches, or both, or consultants, all this kind of stuff, uh, which is just not a great idea. We can just focus on one and just get better at that one. Yeah. Uh, so, uh, yeah, so then the next month, that's when I started with the first few high paid clients. And, Basically on the third of February, three days into that month, I was able to get my first client and then, you know, fast forward and then I had them the other day, so I was able to get more clients, but fast forward in March, I was able to get fourteen thousand dollars in one week. Um, which is absolutely insane because that's nearly nearly an average, you know, salary in Ireland. Yeah, <laughs> man. <laughs> you know, so being able to do that is just absolutely insane because you know you're all of these successes, you know, all these you know, road bumps you have, you know, they will shape you to who you are now and where you want to go in the future. Because look, if you're trying to get into this niche as you know, uh, into this kind of agency world or, or you're trying to scale, you know, you can't be in it for the money because the money won't get you far. You know, like I said, I was getting good money when I was in the advertising agency. Yeah. But that money, like I still drop all of that because how can you, you know, scale? How can you be happy? How can you be fulfilled when you're doing something that doesn't actually resonate with you that you don't give a crap about? Um, you know, so you just gotta keep focusing on what you wanna do and just keep scaling. It's, it's as simple as that, you know. Yeah, no, one hundred percent, man. I really like that. So January, February is like for you, like the actual, like you know, turning points. How did you like what moment for you was like? Okay, this is it. I need to go all in on this niche because this is you know, I've basically found my calling. Yeah, for sure. Yeah, so when I came to the coaching niche, um, what I found out, most of the coaches that I spoke to, you know, whether I'm prospecting or whatever method I'm using, you know, they're mostly just starting off looking to launch or they're trying to scale. Yeah. You know, they're already in the middle. Um, if they're starting off, they're a zero figure. You know, if they're looking to kind of ramp up their numbers, you know, they're basically at, you know, four or five figures, whatever. But other people, you know, they're at six, seven, eight figures. And all of them have one, you know, kind of problem or missing piece, and that's having a serious client acquisition system in place. Yeah. You know, okay, plenty of them don't even know how to get these appointments. They just don't even have a program to look at. They have a program, but many other coaches say, don't use, don't use a funnel, which is the most ridiculous thing that I've heard ever, because why would you message, why would you have 50, you know, 50 messages long messenger basically with someone else? You know, it doesn't make sense. Um, just send them to a funnel that converts. Tell them that that's exactly what we do. Go ahead and book the call because they know you're interested. And then that's it. You know, it's very, very simple. And plus, you know, these high ticket coaches, their minimum cost is basically 2K and they can range out to 2K to 10K to 20K to 30K. Yeah. Know? So, you know, building a funnel for them to get, you know, clients, it's very, very easy because I know it's going to work out. I know it's going to be effective because I built my own funnel and it was effective when I was only asked to. So it's, it's, a, it's a very simple format to use. And, very easy to repurpose it, the you know repurpose the knowledge I have yeah. in the advertising niche into the funnel building niche with the same kind of you know the so there's still the same differences really in there if you want to say that. Um, but yeah it's, it's really cool. Yeah. Yeah man. And just a quick side note for everyone that's watching, all of the lifestyle design funnels are rebuilt, I should say, by by Daniel here. So um, and I've noticed myself, you know it's it's just the small little things that you add to a funnel that just completely improves the aesthetics, makes it look less like your standard ClickFunnels page as well. Yeah, that's, that's the worst. Yeah. That's the worst. That's, that's, man, it, it kind of boils my blood. You know, I, I'm, I'm talking to these coaches 24-7, I just check out their funnels, and they're so, like, 
you know, you can see when someone's in a program where they have all the exact funnels, the same exact layouts as normal. Yeah, exactly. yeah, yeah. If their brand colors could be blue, you know, blue and red, but they're using the black and white type of thing. It may, you know, it makes no sense whatsoever because someone's gonna land on that page, you know. To get people not to bounce off the page, it comes to visual representation, you know, it comes to how visual it is and how good it can unfold your psychological mind, how long it can stay there for. Yeah. They're not gonna, they're not gonna hop off the page and say, you know, oh, this looks, you know, horrible, or this looks good, and then stay on it, you know, they're going to have to look through it, they're going to have to visualize it, and, you know, it's, there's a lot of things that come to developing a funnel, but if you're looking at a funky old, look, ugly looking funnel, that hey, you know, I know another person that says, you know, ugly funnels, you know, good, ugly funnels convert better, or something like that, which is, again, nonsense, what's, <laughs> yeah. give me an ugly funnel, and then give me one of the funnels I built, put them side by side, the same just time, test it, gonna, <laughs> you know, yeah, yeah. No man, go for it. I like it. I like it. So with with the uh, so you, okay, so you found your niche. You know, uh, you found your offer as well. Within your niche, what do you think are like your perfect clients? Like, what do you look for? Is it like personality? A click? Is it understanding? Yeah, yeah, what so, is it? Yeah. So they have to be. You know, business minded. They need to know the direction because. What's the point of me making one funnel and I try to make a repeat customer out of it? You know, they just want, you know, as a business, a business side of things. Yeah. Uh, like they just want one funnel and they just want that one funnel and they don't think about making masterminds or they don't think about challenges or masterclasses or even group funnels. Anything like that to make them scale even further, then you know, it's not really it doesn't really benefit me as much because I can provide value up front and do that one funnel, but if you want to truly scale and you know scale further. I would recommend having multiple funnels and multiple traffic sources just going to that one direct funnel. Yeah. You know, and again, like I said, it really comes down to how business minded they are and how relationship wise, you know, how easy going they are if they understand that they need one. Because I'm not here to teach about teach them about funnels. I'm here to say this is what you need. This is how you do it. This is the price. Are you in or not? You know. That's, yeah. You know, I want to say as forward as possible because you know, all this relationship building, all this kind of all this lovey dovey stuff it isn't for me i don't really want it to be for me yeah so how i do things you know even you know i want to stand you know you have to stand out even if you check my profile my bio is i build wallets something funnels you know that's the cell i'm just trying to stand out i got what well, person looking at the cover photo and he just holding a wallet and then have this you know all this kind of stuff just to stand out because i see other funnels that are in the same niche that have exactly the same um, layout of everybody else the funnels on the page you know, all the stuff that I just don't want, because again, I want the, basically, what I was trying to say, basically, I want the coach to be able to want to stand up, to be able to want to actually scale, yeah. to be able to just focus on one thing, to focus on many other things that can make them grow. Yeah, but I think that, like, what you've just said there, like, um, so when I started out, and I think a lot of others when starting out, they do everything that the client says, right? And what you've basically just said there is, no, listen, we're doing things my way, if you want to do it properly, and if, you're not happy with that then you know we're not a right yeah. fit like how much has that whole like sort of mindset shit mindset shift played a part in like your success oh massive man i you know if you don't have if you don't have a mindset you don't have a vision or goal or anything you want to keep you're wasting your time literally you can't wake up every morning you, well you can be consistent as well but if you don't yeah. actually wake up every morning with the correct mindset you're not going to be consistent or not with the incorrect mindset you're not going to you know, get any results. How are you going to sit at a laptop trying prospect that you're when you're not even interested in what you do, or if you don't have the mind to actually understand that it takes a lot of work, it takes a lot of tactical grace, a lot of you know sleepless nights, you know, a lot of hours in front of the computer, you know, a lot of hours speaking to someone, a lot of hours learning your craft, a lot of hours, you know, listening to content, watching content, listening to all the you know. Experts, you know, listen to Joshua, for instance. I spent hours on his YouTube channel. I spent hours in his program. I spent, you know, hours on his coaching talks. I spent hours DMing him. You know, any questions, you know, that's, you gotta be able to, you know, have the mindset in order to get to that next level. Like when you're speaking about your vision and your goals, you won't have goosebumps on your hands. You know, you might have shiver coming back. That's how serious you are about what you do and how much impact you want to provide and how much freedom you want in your life. You know, when I started off, you know, I always wanted just to have a vision that, you know, just have that dream life, not having, not, not all the luxurious cars, not millions of dollars, chains and stuff, but more being able to, you know, have the best wedding possible, you know, have 
be able to go on amazing holiday and be able to provide for a family, be able to get them their cars, their new cars, you know. My mother's still on about the Mercedes CLA, which I'm gonna have to buy a one of them. I'll just go. You know, you, you gotta have that dream and vision because if you don't have that mindset down to a core, you're not gonna be able to provide yourself the fulfillment you're looking for. Yeah, hundred percent man, couldn't agree more. And it's funny because like we, everyone who's in the program, you know, I'll check in. Um, obviously, you know, it's it's group coaching for me. Got the group calls, etc. You know, we're in the the group mastermind. But then every now and again, I'll check in with someone. You know, just out of curiosity, how are you getting on? Yeah. And like sometimes you'll get um, a standard reply from someone saying like, oh, you know, being a quiet week. I'm gonna get back onto it. You know, in the next few days. And every time I message Daniel, it's like, oh yeah, I've had. 12 calls this week, uh, percentage of closing rate is X amount, um, you know, the retainer that we're focused on is X amount and going forward, we actually want to start charging more. I thought like that whole, that's a complete different yeah. approach I think. It's proper like, you know, rolling up your sleeves, getting your hands dirty mentality. Yeah, for sure. And just like, that like... like yeah, yeah, for sure. Like when it comes to even, like you, if you want to raise your prices, you can't just go from, you know, a thousand to five thousand and not show for it. Yeah, you know, but you know, I have all kind of, I have it all figured out. You know, even when I was speaking to Josh, I said, "Oh, my prices." He was giving all these different numbers, and I'm like, "God damn, that's so much." You know, I know other people charge this much. I can do the same. The value up there is better, um, so I know I can provide. I know the value I can provide. So yeah, really, you know, even trying to hit these, you know, mental barriers. You know, what am I charging too much? What my retainers too low? Why can't I do this? Why can't I do that? You know, you just gonna. Think about for a second, step outside of what you're thinking about and say, is this logical? You know, if you raise your prices, is the value going to decrease? Is your value going to increase? And will it even matter because of what your value is worth currently? You know, I can, you know, I'll, I'll just, just out there, I charge basically 3K per phone right now, um, up to a contract of whatever, you know, price amount. Um, but, you know, I could easily right now change to, well, not right now, but I could change to five, six, seven per phone basis. Yeah. Right now, you know, I'm, I have a strategy in place, so I will do that at once I'll be able to get more following, and I will do that once I have, you know, I'm working on value right now to provide more value. So whatever I do, times that price is going to be a no brainer. You know, you want to make that irresistible offer so they can't say no. Um, so yeah, like, and plus I have a bunch of testimonials now, but I'm also trying to get more of them. So once I do charge that five or six K, they're not going to see it twice because they checked out my funnel, they checked out my profile, see my presence, my trainings. My value, it's going to be very easy. And like, you can't kind of do that without having a massive amount of value, you know? Like, yeah, yeah, you can come across conflict over a call with a potential, you know, roofing client, right? Uh, but if you, at the end of the day, you get, you're not going to charge them 5K and expect no results to be asked on the talk. You know, they're going to ask for the result. So if you're starting off, you know, I'd recommend just be as confident as possible, you know, do things for free, even if you don't want to. You know, yeah. it's the worst thing ever, but. You know, I built photos at the start for free as well. Like I built two or three. Just to get a testimonial in turn and to see how much value it provides and any feedback. You know, and that right there is basically the type of client you're looking for anyway. So, you know, whatever feedback you get, you don't have to actually exchange that, you know, into different words and different kind of agreements, whatever, whatever, you know, whatever client you have coming. Yeah. You know, um, but yeah, no, you know, mindset, if you don't focus on your mindset, you won't get the results you're looking for whatsoever. Yeah, 100% man. And you already did slightly touched on it before, but the consistency obviously, you know, is is another very, very important uh, aspect of it. Yeah. Like, yeah, yeah. Like, if you don't, yeah, if you don't, if you don't focus on, like, if you, if you kind of wake up every day and say, okay, step back from it. If you're coming, if you want to be an agency owner, okay, or a phone agency owner, whoever you want to be, you know, if you step, or business owner in general, if you want to step back just for a second, if you can't wake up at the same time, if you can't have a calendar that's designated to your day to day life, if you can't, uh, you know, put in the actions every single day to get to the next level, you will not get there. Simple as, there's no, you know, other version of it. You have to put, like, set a target every day. This was an outlook I'm doing every single day and go overboard with it every single day. Uh, and then raise your targets every week. How many follow ups are you How many you know, emails are you sending? How many people are calling? How many. You know, appointments are I booking? Let's raise a new standard. How many posts are doing? You know, how everything, you know, you've got to be consistent with every single thing you do in your day to day to hit that next level because, look, it, it, consistency won't come easy, especially when you don't see results, which I trust me, I've had that. Uh, when you don't see results, you just want to be a slump. 
But really, yeah. you have back to that mindset, you have to break over that barrier or push through every single day in order to keep the consistent actions, in order to get that consistent, you know, outcome you're looking for. Because again, without mindset and consistent actions, you're not going to get anywhere, whether you're starting out, whether you're even a six figure person already, if you don't have consistent actions or consistent mindset, you're going to be so unfulfilled and so unhappy every single day that it doesn't even make sense to what you're doing in life now. Yeah, 100%, man. And like, you know, obviously passion is a very, very big and important aspect of it. You know, like you said, if you're not passionate about what you do, it's going to feel like work. It's going to feel, you know, it, it's going to be hard. It, it will be, you know, uh, an upwards battle. But with that said, there's a quote I read the other week, which I thought, you know, that's that's correct. Because again, you know, I have a passion for pay traffic, I have a passion for marketing, but there, there are, you know, there's still going to be days where you're just not up for it or you don't feel like doing it. And there's a quote, I, actually it might have been Atomic Habits where I read it, where it's, it basically, it was something along the lines of, you need to start enjoying the boredom. So just the, you know, the like you said, you know, you've got a goal in mind and then the, you know, you're passionate about the goal, but that doesn't mean that you're necessarily going to be passionate about it every single day, but you just need to you know, yeah. put in the reps, put in the work, you know, be consistent with it because you know, if you want to achieve that goal you're passionate about, you, know, you, need, yeah. to, you need to put in the work. Yeah. For, yeah, for sure. Like you want to be able to wake up and step into a zone in your house or your apartment or condo, wherever you are. You want to be able to step into that zone the second you step into the office. You know, you got to say, once you step in your office, it's work time and, you know, it's deep work in the mornings, whatever way you have to lay it out, it's just work and work on what's, you know, income producing activities that will actually, you know, shift you and actually improve yourself, even if it's health or anything like that. Just focus on what's going to move that needle forward every single day. Um, because like if I come to my office right now, you know, I have a clear desk and the clear desk I have books behind me as you can see I have a, a weird fan right there. Um, <laughs> then like if you look in front of me, you can see um, you know, morning affirmations. I have about twenty uh, um, you know, a list of twenty things I read every single morning. And then I have a visual representation of what I'm looking for and each step to get there. You know, so for instance I have a goal, I have a city I want to move to, the kind of apartment I want, the type of car I want, the wedding I want the kind of destination I want, everything like that, just so it's all steps, so once I hit this, I can do this, once I can do that, I can do that, this whole scale, everything step down, step by step, so you know every day when you step in the office what you're chasing and how to get there, you know, because without, you know, it's basically blind faith if you don't focus on anything whatsoever to actually progress yourself, you know? Yeah, man. And what, what is the city? What's the city you want to move to? It's Toronto, Canada. Ah, that's sick, man. Yeah, Toronto is a really cool place. I went there once yeah, to... Man. Yeah, it's kind of scary because uh, I was looking up the rental price. Oh, man, it's, it's, it's up there. Yeah, I was going to say they, they're steep, but yeah, yeah man. So yeah, then, yeah, it's crazy. It's well, so, so, what is so obviously, you know, you're absolutely crushing at the moment. Uh, like you said, like, what was it, 24k in March? Yeah, yeah, yeah. What, yeah. what, what's next? Like, what's the rest of the year looking like? Yeah, oh god, great question. Uh, yeah, so really for the rest of the year, uh, I have a bunch of things in place. Uh, you know, I've basically hired an agency to, not an agency, but an independent kind of business to, you know, train my team and staff. So for instance, um, I am on board and or will interview a few candidates for a vital selling role, which will be massive benefit to me because at this stage, I don't want to be doing um, outreach as I am busy building funnels and growing the business, whether it's through content, anything like that. Yeah. Um, so the main thing that will, you know, propel me forward even quicker and efficiently and you know we need a team to get to that next level so that's definitely a big you know aspect of component of this business right now um because it's kind of different when it comes to funnel building and ads because you know on ads you know funnels you have to spend a bunch of time creating and planning and stuff but on ads you know if you know what you're doing and it's kind of a rinse and repeat type of system you can nearly just do the exact same layout for each year and new time okay but if you yeah. need to for instance uh, funnel build they're all different. They're all, they're all completely different. They have to design completely different, and you know all that. So really, get yeah, a fighting center, and then uh, a sales rep, and then you know as that scales, hiring more fighting centers, sales reps, or even people don't you know hire some you know underneath to look over all the day to day operations, all these things just to have you know my main focus is have the team down to a to a perfect a perfection basically this 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 year, and then at the same time you know bump up all. Yeah, and spend get, get more appointments in while having the um, appointment center set up, everything, have the salespeople close everything, and then hire more funnel builders on board, of course, because again, funnels take a bunch of time. So, well, 
are that is more of that and then they're going to just keep moving and pushing forward with prices providing value with you know people in my name that's making the dust stand out even more and um, being the go-to is really my goal as a coach mate you know i want everyone if they're looking for a phone i want everyone just to see my name or think of my name just to know i'm the guy to go to yeah so that way it, it's going to be that will be fulfilled forever mate. yeah just that top of mind awareness for anyone who wants a funnel basically yeah man good stuff so just to wrap things up then what advice would you have for those that are just starting off with just like agency in general yeah well definitely the first step is stop watching youtube videos you know <laughs> go ahead and invest in a mentor i would highly recommend joshua you know i wouldn't be where i am today without him and without his training because he's providing so much value you know whether you're on the coaching calls every week that he could easily charge cheap pay for pro profession for um <laughs> you can, or whether you're just messaging one on one and asking any questions, you may have those sort of problems. He will answer you quickly and efficiently and in depth. So that way, you know how to actually, you know, go ahead on the day to day task and keep moving forward without having, you know, to Google things or watching YouTube, see how do I do this, how do I do this, ask the question you're there right there. And plus, if you're going with a mentor, you know, that's already made it and is where you want to go, it's just, you're, you're, it shortens the kind of the cycle altogether because, you know, it, it's just you know you gotta be able to invest in something to learn something you know if you're trying to learn a business if you're trying to kind of you know run a profitable business you're gonna have to learn the business side of things you're gonna have to learn how to actually effectively run the business how to run these ads how to do everything and why would you learn that by yourself when you could just invest that and your ROI would be you know hundred times to what you invested in and then you you as a person is gonna be you know better more efficient and then. You just keep scaling and scaling. So definitely, you know, if you're have any doubt of joining Josh's program, you know, or any say program whatsoever, if you're watching this for if you like Josh, if you love Josh, or if you watch his content, you know, don't just sit there and keep watching YouTube. Just jump right in because it's probably the best investment you'll ever make in your life. And you know, it will cherish all these moments and especially it will be one on one with Josh, which is probably the best thing you could possibly get. Yeah. Appreciate that man, appreciate the kind words and I'm, I'm in the exact same mindset, you know, um, I recently, or not recently, it was December, invested 5k into a, a coaching program as well, just to see, you know, another aspect of digital marketing, you know, I'm consistently investing into coaching with regards to paid traffic, Facebook ads, etc. You know, I just never stop learning, right? And like you touched upon at the start of, the, of, of this interview, you know, YouTube will only bring you so far because it's free content. And whether that is because you need skin in the game, you know, you need to invest into yourself to actually take action, or like I said, you know, because the actual content is either behind a paywall or, you know, you just need to have like that one-on-one -on -one contact with, you know, a mentor, um, the free stuff can only get you so far. Like you really yeah. need to, you know, and if you take action, like if you consistently work on it, you know, success is inevitable. Like, you know, it's only a matter of time before you get there, man. Literally, yeah, you're basically just wasting your time if you don't go and have on with someone. You know, if you, so for instance, say you join in January into a program, and then say one year later in that January, you see where you are, or say you're looking at joining a program in January, but you always decide to, to join in November, and you, you just waste all these powerful months you could have had to scale your business. So why would you be sitting right here watching this interview and not willing to go for it if you're actually, this is something you're interested in? You know, you're just wasting time, and again, time is valuable. Why wait when you can start up the scale Yeah, man, 100%. Love it. And we'll probably wrap up there on a high. Um, thanks so much for hopping on. Um, that is it in terms of the questions for me. Any, uh, feel free to plug your stuff, man. Where, where can we go for the funnels? Yeah, if you want to check out the funnels, <laughs> just check out uh, flowfunnels.com, uh, funnels with a Z. Um, there's loads of free stuff there. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, and if you want to check out my... Facebook, just check out Daniel Libitas, and again, you're probably thinking how do you spell that second name? It's just L I B I B T I S, and simple as that. Any questions you may have regarding you know, Josh's program, message him or message me, doesn't matter at all. You know, I'll let you know how everything goes, and etc. If you want any you know, tips from him or whatever it is, I'll point you in the right direction. And uh, if you got any help with funnels or any questions whatsoever, you know, just message me, and I'll be more than glad to help you out. Yeah, awesome, man. What I'll do is I'll link all your stuff in the description uh, below as well if anyone needs funnel. But um, yeah, man, thanks for coming on and uh, we'll, we'll keep in touch.